This film deals with the ENT mirror examination. It should give young ENT doctors a step-by-step -step understanding of diagnostic capabilities at the ENT workplace. The Department of Otorhinolaryngology first emerged in the second half of the 19th century as a result of advances in scientific medicine and the increasing use of local anesthesia and new lighting technologies. Rhinology and laryngology developed from conservative internal medicine. At that time, otology was represented by surgeons because of frequent complications with otorrhea. The discovery of causal connections between diseases of ear, nose and throat organs is still the basis of the ENT mirror examination as a way of inspecting all visible organ systems relevant to our field. The German healthcare system provides compulsory health insurance for every citizen. The basic idea of this insurance is the principle of solidarity in the hedging of financial risks at the onset of disease. Health insurance in Germany is divided into a private and a public sector. In daily practice, the German ENT doctor has between 50 and 90 patient contacts. The income of an ENT practice is limited by working hours. In order to put these to the best use, ergonomic and efficient work is necessary. This is only possible if all the required instruments are optimally accessible and positioned within immediate reach for both patient and doctor. Further investigations such as tympanometry, sonography, stroboscopy and endoscopic evaluations of swallowing must be carried out directly in the workplace. The treatment unit has a modular design. It consists of the filing system for examination instruments, a suction and flushing unit as well as a microscope. Rigid and flexible endoscopes, a stroboscope and video documentation are integrated for special examinations. In addition, there is the possibility to perform a tympanometry, a rhinomanometry and A-scan ultrasonography, as well as to measure autoacoustic emissions. In detail, there are shelves for clean and used instruments. A clipboard for the instruments used during the baseline examination and more closed drawers for drugs, dressing materials, etc. Both clean and dirty shelves are also provided for the routinely used rod lens optics. To protect expensive and delicate instruments, special silicon mats are used on the shelves. For hygienic reasons, all provided instruments are replaced many times a day since they are intended for immediate use. Important tools for the baseline examination are a powerful suction flushing unit and a modern LED light module for the examiner's headlamp as well as rigid and flexible optics. The patient chair is the central element in an ENT treatment room where the patient should feel safe and secure. A modern examination chair allows the otorhinolaryngologist to work efficiently and ergonomically thanks to its freedom of movement. The combination of patient and doctor chairs allows rapid adjustment to an optimal patient-doctor positioning and must comply with all relevant safety requirements. The mobile doctor chair allows the examiner a back-friendly posture as well as quick and easy movement within the examination and documentation area. The findings obtained during the examination can be directly and electronically documented and archived. At first, a detailed medical history is collected, which is documented by means of a networked practice system. 
Einsatz ja. und durch Strahlweise den ganzen Kopf aus. Dann, äh, The baseline ENT examination consists of ear microscopy, rhinoscopy and inspection of the oral cavity, tongue, pharynx and larynx. To prepare the ear microscopy, the seat of the patient chair and the patient are rotated 90 degrees. In this way, the examiner avoids having to move around the patient when changing the side they are examining. This allows the work to be time-saving and back-friendly. The endoscopy of the inside of the nose takes place both with the headlamp as well as by means of rod lens optics which allow closer inspection of pathologies. Subsequently, the oral cavity, tongue and oropharynx are examined. It is important to assess poorly visible mucosal areas, for example, in the rear floor of the mouth or in denture users. With the help of an angled rod lens, the nasopharyngeal zone can be inspected very reliably. The endoscopy of the larynx is usually done by means of a 70 or 90 degrees rod lens optic. Compared to classic laryngeal mirrors, these lenses, in combination with a high-intensity LED light source, allow an excellent assessment of the tongue base, hypopharynx and the larynx structures. If necessary, the examination can be recorded by a camera head in HD quality. Especially in patients with an increased gag reflex, the flexible rhinolaryngoscopy allows a gentle and safe inspection of the nasopharyngeal zone, oropharynx, hypopharynx and larynx. In addition to the steps mentioned in the baseline examination, Further diagnostic measures can be carried out directly at the treatment center if necessary. The flexible rhinolaryngoscopy allows the fiber or video endoscopic examination of the swallowing process as part of the dysphagia diagnosis, the so-called functional endoscopic evaluation of swallowing. Here the absorption of liquid, pasty and solid food is assessed. The stroboscopy is essential for phoniatric problems or laryngeal tumors. Usually the examination is carried out by means of a magnifying endoscope However, it can also be performed transnasally via a flexible endoscope. Tympanometry is available at the workspace as an optional additional examination. This can be done and documented in no time. The same applies to the A-scan ultrasonography, which allows a rapid assessment of maxillary and frontal sinus pathologies. By networking with radiology software, radiographs can be accessed and displayed in the treatment unit. After the baseline and special examinations are conducted, 
a final assessment is made. Diagnosis and treatment recommendations will be discussed with the patient. The data documented in the practice system will be immediately summarized and printed for the patient in the form of a medical report. The importance of hygiene has increased rapidly in recent years. Strict hygiene policies and the resulting responsibility of the physician with respect to staff, patients and themselves requires standardized and cost-intensive hygiene management. This includes the careful storage and preparation of clean and used instruments as well as rigid and flexible endoscopes. Because of the heavy flow of patients, an optimization of the hygiene workflow is necessary, so that prepared instruments are always available to the examiner for immediate use.